have Al Glover and Wendy Hames here from the Old Pros, and they have an October presentation or performance that's going to be happening. Well, welcome both of you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thanks thank for coming you. in. Welcome, Wendy. It's thank nice you. to have you here. Um, and let's just do like a quick intro of each of you and how long you've been in the village and why you like the Old Pros. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I've been here about five years, but I just got involved in the Old Pros this year, right. uh, back about June. So I'm the new guy on the block. So you're the new guy on the block. block. And yeah. go figure, they already have him directing. They already have you here on, they just threw him right in, didn't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How about you, Wendy? Uh, I have been here three years, and uh, I, I love theater, so I got very keen on participating in the old pros, and it's been fun. Do you love theater in the sense of watching it, or have you been performing all your yes. life? Yes. No, <laughs> the first. <laughs> I w no, I watch. I do a little bit. Okay. Obviously, I'm a, a little bit involved in this one, but yeah. I, I love to be part of the audience as well. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Well, you've got a presentation or performance that's coming up in mm -hmm. October, and it's called the Second Lady. That's well, great. tell me a little bit about it. Well, the Second Lady is basically a political farce. All right, okay. we open in the hotel room of a presidential candidate who, who is preparing to give his inaugural speech for his uh, campaign that evening. All right. The hotel room itself has been transformed into a boiler room, a campaign boiler room, okay? With the, the couch set up, everything, to watch all the TVs. There's only three TVs, because we're back in the late 50s, early 60s, when uh, politics, a little more genteel, not quite the yes. death match we have today. <laughs> right. And so things like, you know, the candidate's wife mm. and how attractive she is make oh. a difference. And so as we, we begin our preparations, we find that our candidate is single at the, the start. But then we learn about halfway through that he's engaged to oh. be married. Oh. And nobody knows this. Not oh. the campaign manager, not his yeah. assistant. Nobody knows this. And then <laughs> she shows up. And that's when the fun really begins, but we're oh. going to stop the description there because we want to give away the rest yeah. of it. Let's take a look at those photos again because as you were talking, we yeah. did show a couple of them. So on the right, is would that be the presidential candidate? That would be our candidate, and that would be uh, the person with him is the hotel social director. Oh, I see. Well, okay. she's looking kind of cozy. Well, that's... Uh, <laughs> she's supposed to. Yeah, I she is imagine. not the, uh, the real fiancé. Let's just would, say yeah. that much, all right? Okay. Excellent. And, and Wendy, you play a, a character. Tell me about your character. Um, I'm the campaign manager's assistant, okay. and I'm kind of the legs and the arms uh, behind his work. He has a great vision, and I am the one that kind of <laughs> makes it happen. So okay. kind of like administrative detail. It's but you, but you, you have lines, and you're oh, in it quite a bit. Oh, right? definitely. Okay. I, I, if he says, uh, go do or get, I do. And I kind of help him steer the course. Yeah. There's needs course corrections a lot. Yeah. He's a man of great vision. He just doesn't always see the forest for the trees, so I have to help him get there. <laughs> and many of them don't, so I think that's great that you're actually doing a play on it. <laughs> Chuck has a tendency to go... <laughs> Yeah. And Wendy, her job is to keep him to gather him back yeah. here, yeah. right, to make sure it happens. So you're you're directing. Yes. Uh, how did this play come about? Well, um, they said you want to direct the next play. I said I'll give it a shot, and they said, well, go find a play. And I went out, and um, they gave me some plays to read, and I searched for other plays, and this is the one I came up with. Oh, it sounds great. It's as I simple mean, as that. Perfect timing, right? Because uh -huh. we've got our. Right our election that's coming up in uh, the midterms. And so I think this is perfect timing because, you know, like you mentioned, our politics today are really harsh. And sometimes you just don't want to watch anymore and you uh -huh. want to have a chuckle or you want to have something interesting. And this sounds like a nice escape. Oh, yes, it is. It's, it will be definitely an escape from today's politics. <laughs> Well, let's take a look at the information. So it's going to be on a Monday, right. and it's October 10th in Clubhouse 7, and it's an afternoon performance at 3. 3 o'clock. That's right. Okay. And that's Columbus Day, by the way. Oh, it is. Okay, yes. excellent. And do they have to purchase tickets? If you're an old pro member, no. But if you're not, then the tickets are $5. At is the that door. just at the door? Yes, okay, at the door. Great. So the door. you don't have to RSV no. or anything like no. that. No. All right. We'll excellent. take your money when you come in. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Well, I appreciate the information. Good luck to you. Break a leg. Yes, right, thank, you. Say, yes thank you. And, uh, we'll see you again next time. Good luck. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you, you very much. Appreciate right. it. Okay. Very good. And if you want more information about the performance, you can always go to their website, which is ocoldpros.org, or you can email them at ocoldpros at gmail.com. We'll be right back.